Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this Sunday morning mountain weather update. I want to go to radar first. This is what's left of our storm system. It's cut off over Colorado and New Mexico. Still seeing some uh, areas of rain and snow. Snow generally above eight to 9,000 feet. That's where you're going to have your best accumulation. But you can see the spin, the rotation around this area of low pressure. Um, the I-70 corridor and areas north will get swiped with snow one more time as this low finally pulls out of the four corners and moves away um, later tonight and into tomorrow. Um, so a couple of cameras here this morning. This is from Telluride off of Main Street. You can see the snow level. It's up over the highest peaks um, down in town. It's just a little bit too warm and everything is just wet. But look at the big peaks in the background through Box Canyon up to Bridal Vale. Um, everything is just covered in snow at higher elevations. Down in New Mexico, Taos got snow You can at the base area. Uh, it's a little bit warm, but higher up, man, lots of good snow accumulation. Look at that. Awesome down in Tahoe. So again, Colorado, New Mexico is where that storm system is going to be spinning right now. Here's water vapor satellite imagery. And so oranges and reds on this are your drier air. Your moisture is in your whites and your blues. There's our cutoff low. And uh, eventually, over the next 24 to 36 hours, it's going to start to make its move through Colorado and move away. Um, this area of low pressure behind it in the flow is headed into BC and will affect the Pacific Northwest and the northern tier of states. And then there's another storm system behind that uh, for further down the road in the forecast. All right, let's take a look at the bullet points here this morning. So Colorado, New Mexico, snow, best snow accumulations above 9,000 feet through tomorrow, 1021, and then the low will move away. Then the whole pattern is going to shift to the north and favor BC and the Pacific Northwest for at least two storm systems. Now down the road, there's a storm that will drop even further south by the end of October, early November uh, for the Inner Mountain. So 1028, 1029, Halloween, and into that first week of November, it does look more active for the lower 48. So looking at the time height forecast for humidity in the atmosphere, this is Telluride Ski Area. We'll just continue the theme down there in southwest Colorado. Um, so th through all the vertical layers, you can read the timeline at the bottom of uh, the tab there from right to left. So you can see the green. The humidity still remains high. I mean, it's almost like there's these little surges or bands, if you will, rotating around this area of low pressure. And then the air is much, much drier. By the time we get into uh, tomorrow afternoon and beyond, the drier air in yellow moves in and the, the wind shift, and it's just a whole different pattern. Um, we're just sort of in waiting at that point for the next storm cycle. But look at Lake Tahoe. This will give you, South Lake Tahoe, this will give you some idea. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty dry stretch until we get to the end of October. And then the odds of snowfall for Tahoe start to improve, start to go up. And I talked about this. I showed you the chart for Yellowstone, um, Yellowstone up there National Park yesterday. This would be the case for a lot of Montana, Idaho, and Colorado, Utah. We'd start to see those odds of snow increase by the end of the month into early November. All right, here's the jet stream forecast. So by close of business today, there's our cutoff low over Colorado and New Mexico. And then I'll push this into the future. And notice what happens here. There's uh, Sunday. Oh, you know what? Let's, let's start that over, that animation over. There we go. There's Monday. There's Tuesday. Now watch to the west. Here comes the next active uh, storm system. And moving into the Pacific Northwest right here, 1027, 1028, and 1029. You can see the dip in the jet stream. That's the one that I think will plow further to the south into the inner mountain um, west. So into the month. All right, let me show you what the forecast radar and satellite will look like. So by 5.30 this afternoon, rain and snow, New Mexico, Colorado, snow above eight or 9,000 feet. There it is by Monday morning. One more area of snow to pass over the I-70 corridor, the central and northern mountains of Colorado, and then that storm system would begin to exit. But look to the Pacific Northwest. The active flow continues up into parts of BC, and that uh, precip kind of runs across the northern tier through Tuesday, and then it's gone. Then we are waiting on the next storm system. So by the time we get into Thursday, there's Friday. Um, here comes Saturday. Here comes the actual storm system. By 1027 and 1028 and 1029, it makes its way into the Pacific Northwest and then begins to plow to the south. You can see the snow potential there. Pacific Northwest, Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, northern Utah, and northern Colorado. So again, end of month is really what we're looking at right there with the next arrival. As far as my snow forecast goes this morning, here are the numbers. So still some snow remaining over Colorado and northern New Mexico some pockets of potentially two, three, four, five, six inches 
uh, uh, above 9,000 feet. Um, and then what you see over the Intermountain West for Wyoming, Montana, Idaho, Northern Utah, California, a lot of that happens down the road. So that's days away. And look at uh, BC, for example, that's like two storm systems combined. So that doesn't all come from one storm, but anywhere from 9, 10, 11 inches up there from Kicking Horse to Marmot Basin, 7 to 10 from Whistler to Baker. Um, and again, that, that happens with like two or three different storm systems. And remember, the pattern does shift by the end of the month. Um, so that's something to look forward to. All right, guys, that's, uh, that's going to do it for this uh, Sunday morning mountain weather update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.